yeah, you know, I think we started a bit slowly, which would uh, we put it down to a bit of a, a longer break. And um, once you know, 15, 20 minutes passed, I think we took control of the game and unlucky enough to score. I think Paul Lizzo was probably the best player on the pitch, which is um, you know unfortunate. But you can see the patterns of play that we we work on. They came through, and um, yeah, in another game we probably would have scored two or three. So the performance was there, and, and we're only going to get better and stronger as the games move forward. But we discussed that before the game, like you know, oh, yes. it's, it's it's never. It's, it's an unforeseen event, COVID, and I think the way that we came back in uh, is a credit to every single individual. You know, the club put on programs for us, and it looks like everyone stuck to them pretty well, and uh, no one's ever complained. We all just got on it, and we're a tight knit unit. And, and we started a journey, you know, almost 60 weeks ago now, and uh, we want to finish it off, and we want to be as successful as possible. And, and everyone respected the group enough to do their individual stuff, and, and it, sh it showed it in the, you know, from the 60th to the 90th, we, we still had a lot, lot more to give in terms of. Uh, our legs, so it's positive. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think it, um, in a way, it makes you appreciate it even more. Um, when something's taken away from you, I think, and you know, when you've been doing it for 10, 12, 15 years, I think you take it for granted a bit, maybe. And um, I know personally, I had a few things off the field, but nothing can replace football. And um, yeah, it's just great to be back with the boys. And, and then that, that match day experience on, on the end of the week to round out the training, and yeah, it, it's a magical feeling. And just looking forward to. Uh, the rest of the games. The club have uh, given us everything we need and we're at a nice venue out there at uh, Crown Plaza in, in Hawkesbury and you know, it's good air and it's fresh mornings which is nice, a bit of a change from Brisbane. Um, but no, it's, it's good to connect to the boys and uh, obviously having a new gaffer it's good for him to, to see how the boys react and how we integrate and uh, what we're like off the field and you know, it's almost like a, like a tournament hub so yeah we're, we're embracing it and, and we love it. It's obviously hard coming in with four games to go or six games to go and, and we played a certain way so um, yeah, he's came in and the training's intensely from the start. You can see from the sweat in our shirt and um, you know, he's, he's got a style, a style of play that I'm sure he wants to implement and, and slowly and surely we'll introduce that. And um, But yeah, it's, it's been football as normal for, for the group and everyone's just getting on with it and really enjoying our football. You know, Melbourne Victory is a strong side, but every team in the A-League is a strong side. You know, it's, it's a salary cap league, so uh, anyone can beat anyone on the day. So if we put in the performance we did against Adelaide uh, and then add on to that, uh, I think we'll be we'll, we'll be okay, and that's what we're looking to do.